In this tutorial, we'll look at how to center cards in Bootstrap 5 on the page. Okay, so I have a simple example here. I have copied uh, the card component three times from the documentation. And um, by the way, I'm using Bootstrap 5 here. So be careful when you Google Bootstrap Docs, the first link is actually linking to an older version, version 4. Right, so if you just go to the home page, it will always show you the latest version. So here in the docs, you can go to the card component. And this first example they have here um, looks very good. So why not just copy it? And also, you're not going to remember all of these classes. So you're not going to be able to code this from scratch. So just copy it. Now, when you do that, um, for example, because you want to have like pricing cards, um, something like this is what you is what you'll get. So let's say that we want to center this on the page, right? So the first thing you have to be aware of is that when you copy this example, they actually set some styling here with inline CSS. So here they set the width to 18 RAM. So they hard code the width. We don't want to do that. We want to set the width by using, let's say, uh, columns, rows and columns in Bootstrap. That's actually a good way to uh, do layout. So what you want to do here is remove that style inline CSS, right? So when you do that, it's gonna gonna stretch the entire width because the width will actually be 100% then. That's actually the, the, the default, right? So when you do that, it will stretch the entire width, which is also not what we want. So it's not it's now sitting against the edge here, right? That's not what we want. So the first thing we can do here to improve this is to, is to use the container class in Bootstrap. I'm actually gonna collapse this because there's quite a bit of HTML and I'm going to put this in the container here and what the container class will do is it will add some it will add some padding basically or some space between the content and the edge of the viewport and it will actually also automatically adjust right so it's responsive out the outside um, out of the box and actually it's not doing that for the other cards let's see oh probably because I have a div to two divs too many here Let's see if that works. Yeah, so now you can see it's it's a bit more restrained, the width. Right? So that's what you get with the container class. But now let's say that we also want these cards to sit on the same line. So now you can work in the container here with rows and columns. Right? So this is the grid system of Bootstrap. You create a row, and in a row you basically have 12 units to allocate of space. Right? So we can say we're going to have a column that's going to take... We're going to have three columns, and they're all going to take up four units. Right? So you get 4, 8, 12 in total. So they're all going to be equally big. And then you just put the cards in there, right? Remember, the cards have 100% width now, right? So that if you put them in here, they're just going to take up 100% of the parent element, which is this column, which is getting four units out of 12, right? So let me also do it for the other card. Right, so now we have a row. In the row, we have 12 units and they're all equally allocated to three columns right now. So now when I save here, you can see they're sitting on the same row and they're centered horizontally on the page now eventually you're going to get an issue here where it gets very uh tight and therefore you may also want to think about responsiveness right so it's getting quite tight here so bootstrap has a responsive first philosophy and so what you can right so it, it basically starts as if you were creating it from a mobile first uh you know, approach. You don't have to do that. That's just how their system is built. So you can decide at what breakpoint, so at what point and onwards, um, should it become this layout. So actually the default is stack, meaning vertical, right? So what you can use is you can use these infixes like medium or small. And that means um, a certain breakpoint, right? So initially now on mobile, it's going to be stacked, right? So vertical. And then from the medium breakpoint and onwards, do they get those four units in that row, right? So let's see medium at some point, it's going to be here. Yeah. So at this point, it crossed the medium threshold and they, well, they get displayed like this. You may also want to have some, some vertical space between them, right? So you can use one of the gap properties, gap Y axis, and then let's say number three, and so then I also have some space between them vertically when they're stacked, right? So this is one way to center the cart um, in Bootstrap, right? So already quite tricky, by the way, I have to say. And it's really important that you have mastered the underlying fundamentals like CSS, but also JavaScript, right? If you want to work with Bootstrap or front-end development in general. I have courses on them, definitely check them out. The links are in the description if you want to take those skills to a professional advanced level. Okay, now let's say you don't want to use that grid system. A second option is to use... Um, the flexbox actually. So I will remove the rows and the columns, right? The container is not part of the grid system. The container is just its own thing that will just restrain the width a little bit. So it's not sitting against the edge. So let's see, I'm just going to format this. Let's see what we have so far. I have a div too many again. 
now we get this again. So now we want to display them on the same uh, row, let's say, right? So we can do that with display flex. That's actually the default layout in Flexbox. If I make this a flex container, you're going to get this, right? And then if you want a uh, gap between them, so you could select this container, you could give it a custom class, card wrapper or cards. And here you could use column gap of, let's say, uh, eight pixels. Right, so then there's going to be a little bit of space. Maybe that's not enough. Let's make it 15 pixels. Okay, so then we also have centered these cards and there is some space between them. You can also use a media query then to change the flex direction to get that stacked layout again. But now this is one way of, you know, sort of centering them horizontally. By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also, check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level. Because in there, we will build some beautiful real-world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you want to be notified, then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.